Hi, I'm George. And I'm Emily. Today we're going to walk you through the Hardwire Bulletproof Whiteboard. We're going to tell you where it's made, who our company is, what it's made out of, what it stops. We'll show you some of the guns that the ammunition comes out of so you're familiar with those. We'll even take you into the tactics of how to empower yourself and those in your classroom in the event of a, an active shooter emergency. Now we'll be addressing a very serious subject, active shooters. So we may incorporate humor or anecdotes to help you remember it in that crisis situation. So, so here, here we, we go. go. Hi, I'm back again. Over the past decade, Hardwire has developed armor for the U.S. military and Department of Defense. We've fielded this armor in Iraq and Afghanistan in the harshest conditions of the world on over 5,000 trucks and hundreds of acres of green zone. We've also developed and fielded armor for bridges and buildings across the United States of America. The point of all this is the armor that's in your bulletproof whiteboard is not new. It was a defense critical item that was used to protect soldiers and UN forces and even the State Department across some of the harshest environments in the world. It's now being applied to you. So let's get on with the rest of the training. The shields are made of a material called Dyneema. This is Dyneema right here, which is actually ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. It starts off as a white powder that's spun into these spider-like filaments and then put into the prepreg that I'm holding. You can almost think of the ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene as saran wrap on steroids. Because this material is actually two and a half times stronger than Kevlar, but it's light enough to float. Here in our facility, we take the material, ply it up, and then put it in the giant presses that you see behind us and squeeze that material with up to 25 million pounds of force and cook it at a very, very precise temperature. And at the end of that process, the material comes out as that hard plate of armor that's in your bulletproof whiteboard. Think of your armor as millions of spider webs compressed together that are there not to catch a fly, but to catch a bullet. about building security, they tend to think about traditional methods of protection. For example, a fence around the perimeter of a property, a lock on a door, maybe a camera system, electronic key fobs to get you in and out of doors. But the problem is that people are thinking of security from the outside in. We like to think about security from the inside out, because really it's the people on the interior of the building that are important. Thanks. Really, all it takes is one random act of kindness, one mistake around a traditional security perimeter, and it's easy to breach. Once you're inside, that's when the real trouble starts. And that's the idea with the bulletproof whiteboard, is it's a tool that you have on the inside, so if trouble makes its way into the building, you at least have a tool to protect yourself and those around you. What we hear time and time again with school violence and active shooters is, it can't happen here. Unfortunately, it has happened here. It happens all across America, and it's increasing in frequency. The FBI conducted a study of active shooter incidents in the United States from 2000 to 2013. There were 160 total incidents in 40 states in the District of Columbia. Nearly 500 people were killed, and more than 550 were wounded. The study shows that the frequency of active shooter situations more than doubled from 2007 to 2013. All but two of these incidents involved a single shooter. Now, a few years ago, the Secret Service conducted a study called the Safe School Initiative. And the bottom line is that it showed that despite prompt law enforcement response, most of these active shooter incidents were over before police ever arrived on the scene. And it's the people inside the scene that are making a difference. It's the ones that are confronted with the shooter and that are able to do something. Now for the first time with a bulletproof whiteboard, there's a piece of armor inside the school, hopefully in multiple places, that can be used to confront the shooter, show authority, 
and begin to take the power back and put it in the hands of the victims, not in the hands of the shooter. A study of over 100 school shootings showed that 92% of the time, the active shooter either had a handgun or a shotgun. So it's important for you to know what these common weapons look like so you know what it is that you're up against. Your level 3A bulletproof whiteboard has been specifically designed to cover this 92% problem. And so that quarter inch thick piece of armor that's in your board will stop these weapons. Many of you have held a gun, have guns, or have used a gun, but for those of you that haven't, we've laid out really that 92% problem for you here on the table. Starting at one extreme would be the nine millimeter. Now this is a training gun, so it's, it's actually a plastic gun, but this one is very common. It's inexpensive, it is easy to reload, it holds a lot of ammunition, it's lightweight. It's also a semi-automatic, meaning that every time I pull the trigger, this will automatically reload, cock the hammer, and be ready for the next shot. It doesn't have a lot of kick, and with all that ammunition inside, I can get a lot of shots off, and when I'm ready to reload, I can just slam a new clip in it, meaning that it'll only take two to three seconds to reload this weapon. Moving to the 44 Magnum, this is a much heavier, more cumbersome gun. It's a revolver, so it's not easy to reload. It holds six rounds, and you can see this is an unloaded weapon, but when I pull the trigger, it actually takes me two hands, and when it's loaded, it will give you quite a kick. So this is not nearly as common as the 9mm handgun in an active shooter scenario. And there's no question that gun's going to give a big kick and it's difficult to conceal. This one's even more of a kick and harder to conceal. So this is a 12 gauge shotgun. It's been used in several of the active shooter situations. It's a very effective close in weapon, meaning that it's either going to spray a bunch of pellets or send out one big slug. It holds, and it depends on the gun, anywhere from five rounds, including the one in the chamber, up to eight with extended tubes on the magazine. Now, this particular gun, your whiteboard shield will stop either in slug form or buckshot form, and it is also difficult to reload. So once this gun has used all its ammunition, the shooter will either discard it or require quite a bit of time to get it reloaded. We've said that 92% of the active shooter problem is typically handguns and shotguns. So the other 8% of the problem is typically assault rifles and hunting rifles. We showed you the armor that will stop ammunition from handguns and shotguns. And we also make armor that will stop ammunition from assault rifles. You can identify it because it's about 3 quarters of an inch thick as opposed to a quarter of an inch. It's really important to know which shield you have and where those different shields are located in your office building or school. We wanted to show you an assault weapon just to show you the, the overall size. This is an AK-47 with the stock folded down, so it's actually very easy to conceal. It's a semi-automatic weapon, again, meaning that every time I pull the trigger, it's cocked and ready to go and I can keep firing. The ammunition comes in a clip. It's pretty easy to reload. Sometimes you can get hung up, but it'll take only two to three seconds to throw another 20 rounds into this. So if the shooter stops shooting, runs out of ammunition, be sure to take advantage of that time. We wanted to show you a close-up of the rounds that go in the guns we discussed earlier. The 9mm, small but deadly. The 357 thrown in there for comparison. The 44 Magnum, the biggest of the big handguns. A shotgun round, pretty self-explanatory. As we move over to the assault rifles, this is the 223 that belongs in an AR-15. This is the AK-47 round, and this is the high-powered 308 round. The Bulletproof Whiteboard is meant to be useful on a daily basis. It's 18 inches by 20 inches in size and weighs just under 4 pounds. The idea is it's a dry erase board, so you can use it to write messages or the homework assignment or reminders for your students. If you look on the back, Emily was using the center handle to teach with, and the outer two handles are used in the defensive position. Also on the back, just like a fire extinguisher, are the ratings in blue, what it'll stop, and in black, the directions. No matter which way you hold it, the directions are right side up. Now, each shield also comes with one of these hooks and a little dangle, so the idea is 
you can hang your shield up and it will be easily accessible whenever you need it. Hey Emily, <laughs> we've talked about a lot of things, but let's talk about how we test our whiteboards. The National Institute of Justice is the organization that sets the requirements for armor performance. And so we certify all of our armor solutions to meet the NIJ specifications. So we take our armor solution and we shoot it in a five shot pattern. And the requirement is that none of the bullets penetrate. We do that at independent third party test labs, but inside Hardwire, we're developing those solutions and shooting them in more real life scenarios. This particular whiteboard we shot 30 times with a 9mm, so it's equivalent to reloading that gun twice, which is something that you might actually see but hopefully don't. We're looking for 100% stops, no appreciable backside deformation, and we want all the bullets to remain inside so that there's no shrapnel. So many rounds is that to Shotgun slugs, buckshot, 49, and what I'm observing here, it doesn't appear that anything has been allowed to escape. You know, they passed around the, the shields that have had been shot at and to actually see that they're captured and they make kind of a bubble on the backside and you go, wow, that really is gonna hold it. And, you, you, and what we wonder always is, what's it gonna feel like to hold that shield when you're being shot at? And is it going to knock me down? Is it, you know? And so to have something standing here that you know doesn't weigh as much as you do, you, it gives you confidence that um, that shield is going to be manageable. It's not just that it's going to hold the bullets, but you're going to be able to handle it effectively. It's a level 3A ballistic rated board. And I'll let you examine them. When you look at them, you'll see the bullet. You can actually see the backs of the bullet. They've penetrated and then they've been retained because the fabric is, is that tight woven spider-like fabric that just grabs a hold of it. The, the whiteboards after watching the demonstration are simply amazing. Uh, we watched YouTube videos on them last year when they're introduced to us, but actually being there, watching it happen, it's real. They, they stop bullets. Uh, the bullets didn't penetrate, they shot it 40 times and it still didn't penetrate the, uh, the board. So as a, as a teaching tool, this is gonna cover your vitals. And it's also gonna provide you with a uh, protection for your students as well. One of the most common questions is, if the bulletproof whiteboard gets hit by a round from any of the guns it stops, will I be knocked over? The answer is absolutely not. The gun and the whiteboard weigh about the same, and the force it takes to accelerate the bullet out of the gun or stop it with the whiteboard is roughly the same. So if you can shoot the gun, you can absorb the ammunition as long as it stops in the ballistic material. I've got my bulletproof whiteboard, and my class is going into lockdown mode. Now is time for you as the teacher to take a leadership position. You need to direct your students quickly and efficiently, and your demeanor may need to change so that they know what to do and how serious the situation could be. Get your students up out of their chairs, move them quickly against the wall, and get them out of the line of sight. Kids, get up, get over to the wall, and I'm going to position myself between the door and my students so I can protect them if someone comes in. Defense is no longer an option. It's just down to you and the shooter, and it's your job to protect your class or your loved ones behind you. You have to get offensive. It is a survival situation. You have a great survival tool. It'll stop the rounds. It's razor thin, rock hard, 
and you've got one great grip on there. Treat it as if you were in a football game or a boxing match. Get in an athletic stance, get a hold of it firmly, be ready for impact, box or twist with it, aim for the head, torso, ears, especially aim for the gun. It will draw your attention anyway. If you can get this on the gun, remember the gunman only has his finger in there and one palm. There's a good chance on the first blow, you'll break his finger, he may drop the weapon, it'll at least be diverted into something then you can go after the head or neck area with this hard, thin surface and really do some damage. You may be in a situation where you need to evacuate. If so, use your bulletproof whiteboard for protection wherever you go and direct your students to safety. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. In this training video, we've taught you about hardwire, the Dyneema in your whiteboard, and how to approach security from the inside out. We've reviewed the common ammunition that the whiteboard stop, handguns, shotguns, and even assault rifles if you have one of the thicker whiteboards. You've seen actual testing by not just us, but by police officers with school officials present in some of the areas where it's been deployed. We've also reviewed offensive and defensive tactics that you can use in an emergency situation. Remember, the whiteboard is there to empower you. You're the person that is in charge in that classroom. Stay that way. Use it just like you would with a fire extinguisher. Don't be afraid of the fire, but use the fire extinguisher to buy time until the right people get there to help you. If you have any additional questions, feel free to call us or email us through our website. We're happy to help you, and thanks for watching.